Rise and Shine Superstar is your favorite light, Coach MB. And today is a great day to be alive. Why? Because you are still here. So stop what you're doing. Comment below and scream at the top of your lungs. Come through if you are thankful that God woke you up this morning because gratitude is the absolute best way for you to start your day. And if for some reason you're not thankful to be alive, then I just need you to take some time out today. Sit down and find at least one reason why you should be because I'm thankful that you're still here and I guarantee you there's somebody else out there who's thankful that you are as well. Whatever is going on in life is not going to last forever. It's only temporary and you're still here for a reason. God woke you up for a purpose. So find your purpose and go out there and live it. Don't make a permanent decision based off of a temporary situation. All right, tribe. Okay. Mm. We getting better and better every week. I hope you're growing. I hope you're learning. I'm hoping you're loving more and just getting ready to impact the world and only the way that you know how to do it. But check this out. This week, we are talking about the chains. This week, we are focused on breaking shackles because you got some chains on you right now that have been holding you down and keeping you held up locked up and unable to get to that goal like you want to like you set the goal then you made the plan and you started executing the plan you are already a couple of steps ahead of most people who don't even have a goal or have set the goal and they aren't even doing anything about it no not you you have set it you have executed it but for some reason you're not quite as far along as you expect it to be like, okay, yeah, you expected some obstacles. You expected some adversity. You expected some things that you had to overcome, some challenges, some things that were going to come up unexpectedly. You expected all that. But you also expected this feeling of accomplishment. You expected this feeling of confidence. You expected this feeling of progress. And for some reason, you feel like your progress is going so slow, it's not even moving you forward. You feel like you're just stuck. You're waking up every morning. You're doing what you feel like you need to do. You're putting in the work. You're taking the time. You're staying focused. You're giving it all you got. You think you're doing everything that you can in your power to make it happen, but it's still not happening. You feel like if I keep going at this rate, the time that I set myself to accomplish this goal, I'm not going to accomplish it. I'm not going to meet my deadline. And I know I gave myself enough time to get there. Like I thought realistically about it. Here's where I am. Here's where I want to be. Here are the steps that it's going to take for me to get there. But I'm just not advancing like I want to. Why is that? You feel like you've put in so much effort, so much work, so much time, and you're not getting anywhere. And now you're just like, what's the point? I might as well just stop don't stop don't quit you've put in too much already you've invested so much of your life your time your energy and your attention already don't let it be in vain i get it you wake up every morning and it's not easy getting up early i get it it's not easy doing the work when you really don't want to do it it's not easy showing up when you feel like you just rather stay in bed but you've already done it so keep that train moving keep that engine going do not stop. This week, we're going to focus on six culprits that have you feeling like you might as well give up. But you're not going to give up because after this week, you're going to realize, okay, I see. We're going to focus in, we're going to dive in, and we're going to take inventory of all those actions that you have been taking and figure out exactly what it is that you need to let go and where it is you need to improve. Because there's something going on and all it takes is one little tweak. And I promise you, once you make that tweak, you're going to advance. But remember this, you set a timeline for yourself. You set a goal for yourself. But is your timeline in line with God? Because God has a way of doing things in the time that he knows is best for us. So always hold that in your mind. Understand that you're making progress. Every day that you wake up and do something that's going to help you get closer to your goal, guess what? That's progress. It may not be massive progress. It may be minute progress, but it's still progress. As long as you're moving forward, it's still progress. So be patient with yourself. Have grace with yourself. Understand that things are going to happen and let it go. You have to be flexible. You have to let things happen and say, okay, you did happen, but I still have better for myself. I'm not going to fall into that. Remember last week, we're not when things go wrong, we're not going to go with them. 
Don't get caught up being the victim of something going wrong and then you fall into that going wrong and you go with it. Stay focused. Stay the course because you're putting in the work. You're putting in the effort. You have the intention. You're doing what it is that you need to do. It's just something that you need to tweak. So this week, we're going to focus on finding six things that you might need to tweak. You might need to tweak all of them. You might only need to tweak one or two. But once you make that tweak, once you realize what's really happening, and once you're able to advance yourself to a place beyond that small little chain that's been holding you back, your breakthrough is going to come because this is your year. This is your year for breakthrough. This is your year for success. This is your year to come out on top. This is your year to win. This is your year to break those chains. So don't give up. You've come too far. Don't give up. It's right around the corner. Don't give up. You're three feet from the goal. Don't give up. Stay focused. Stay the course. And stay hopeful. It's okay to have doubtful thoughts. You can't control your negative thoughts. But you can control how long they stay. Have that thought. Acknowledge it. And kick it out. Replace it with something that you know is going to push you forward towards your goal. Because holding on to something that's not going to do it, definitely won't do it. Don't hold on to what you've done in the past or what progress you haven't made in the past. Look at it and say, okay, that's cool, but I got a lot more to do. I got a lot more work to give. I got a lot more focus to give. I have a lot more effort to give. I have a lot more intention to give. I have a lot more attention to give. So we're going to break it down. We're going to figure out what it is that's been slowing you down because it's not holding you back. You know by now that you are far too strong to be held back by anything that did not create you. But it might be slowing you down a little bit. So let's focus on that this week. Stay tuned. Turn those notifications on so that you can make sure that you get access to the videos because we breaking chains. And you know what it is. If you don't remember anything I just said, always remember this. It's a great day to be alive. It's a great day to be great. And it's a great day to find the greatness in you. Now go out there and live the greatest day of your life.